Thank you. Um, to start off, uh, my name is Mike Dyson, and I actually represent the next generation will have to deal with this problem, and uh, my kids will as well. So thus far, there have not been any people that have been um, my age, or probably, I'm probably 20 years younger than them. So a lot of these people, um, I, 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 do, I do appreciate your concern for our generation and what this stands to propose. I want to ask, is there any press here? Any press? Star Telegram, Dallas Morning News, problem number one, no press. This, there is no light being shed on this issue. This is very affect the state of Texas going forward. We the people, by the people, for the people, and this is not for the people. First, um, ladies and gentlemen, this is larger than the Dubai force deal. Okay, this is a hundred times worse than the Dubai port deal. The reason for the lack of communication is a gentleman uh, mentioned earlier. He said there was no communication on TxDOT's part. Uh, basically has to do with secrecy. And usually when there's secrecy, there's something more to the situation. Yes. that needs to be brought to light. That's correct. For the most part, I do believe this is a show trial. You guys are here and you're making your, your, your statements and your cause with um, not much light to the greater situation. And as the gentleman said earlier, how are we going to solve our $55 million shortfall? Well, I'll tell you one thing. We're not going to solve it by creating a $185 billion debt situation. <laughs> Emissions control laws on the uncompliant Mexican truck to come over the border. <laughs> I'm sure in that alone we can net our loss back. This was just brought to light as well. The Trans Texas Corridor is without a doubt part of a larger tri national transportation system aimed at creating a North American community or an American Union, if you will that will supersede the United States government authority much like the European Union would. Yes. It will supersede the United States laws, the United States Constitution, and the United States sovereignty. This is part of the public record. Lou Dobbs even reported it on CNN, and he quote said, this is the end of America as we know it. European Union, as you know, if uh, you guys read up on it, is being rejected by the people now. People are very upset because it's not what it was said to have been. And it is nothing but a consolidation of power, which is exactly what's going to happen right now. Bingo. Also, as you mentioned about the uh, Council on Foreign Relations, this is a non-governmental think tank, okay? It creates policy for the United States government and puts it in the hands of the Bush administration. I have the document right here, which is part of the public record, building a North American community, in which it states numerous things that I'm going to submit for the record. They would like to establish a seamless North American market for trade. Seamless, no borders. They're going to lay the groundwork. What they'd like to happen by 2010, lay the groundwork for a freer flow of people within North America. Develop a North American border pass in which biometric identifiers will be used to red flag people and track them in their transportation. Open skies and open roads. Implement the social security totalization agreement negotiated between the United States and Mexico, which will converge both systems for social security. That's right, folks. The North American Interparliamentarian Group. The government that supersedes the United States government. This project also will effectively put an end to American labor as we know it, bypassing the Teamsters and the Longshoremen's Union as the freight is brought in from the Far East to the Mexican ports in Mexico. They will have no say at all. The NAFTA and the CFR plan was modeled off UN policies, which we all know are questionable. In their entirety. Mr. Tyson? I have a few more things to state. I'm, I'm just two, 30 seconds. This plan will destroy American sovereignty. 
And I don't expect any of the Texas Department of, of Transportation officials to understand this in its entirety. I know you guys have a job to do, and what you do is what you do. But, as a gentleman once said, stated, said something to the effect of, you cannot expect a man to understand the situation when his paycheck depends on him not understanding it. Yeah. Up to Thank you very much. Thank you. I'd like to thank you for the record. All right, thank you.